in this session let us see how to create this diagram in this first i will draw the inner circle and outer circle inner circle diameter is given as 55 and outer circle diameter is 90 and i'll draw these lines after that so let's come to the criteria here now take the circle command and exactly at the default origin i am creating my circle center pick the point now you specify the radius by taking the constraint command and here changing the diameter as 55 going for another circle of diameter 90 zooming down then draw the the lines which we have here that is this line and this line the distance between these two lines is given as 8 that is from horizontal axis to this line is 8 by 2 4 so take the line command and i'm drawing from this point to this point now you try to give the distance between horizontal axis and to that line as 4 then taking the mirror command select the element to be mirrored about the horizontal axis by pressing control i'm selecting these two elements again going for the mirror mirroring about the vertical axis then i am drawing the reference lines the angle between each instance is given as 60 degrees so total we have six instances that is 360 by 6 so we'll get the angle between each instance as 60 degrees so i'll take one reference line mid of these two that is 60 by 2 30 degrees so take the infinite line as a reference with construction with line through two points option my infinite line will pass through the given point i am picking this point here and specifying the angle as 30 degrees now by pressing control selecting these two elements again going for the mirror and uh, taking this line as a reference again by pressing control selecting these two then going for the mirror about the vertical axis by making a window selection i am selecting these four elements clicking on the mirror about the horizontal axis in this way i finish the inner shape let's come to the outer shape here the out to draw this circles we need a reference line that is from the vertical towards right side 30 degrees that is from the horizontal from here to here the angle is given as 60 degrees and from the vertical towards this side is 30 that is from the origin this is 90 Plus thirty, one twenty. We need to give in this way. Take the infinite line, and which is passing through the origin point here, with an angle of sixty degrees, and drawing another reference line with an angle of one twenty degrees. Now draw another line that is this line, the angle from this line to this. Sorry. the distance from this line to this line is 60 so i am taking the half set command select the line to be half set and by moving cursor towards this side pressing the tab button from the keyboard and giving the distance as 60 now the distance between these two is given as 60 i am trying to making the constraint here by picking these two now the this element is in a fully constraint let's go for the circle i'm making this as a standard element now draw the inner circle inner circle diameter is given as 20 for these four circles inner circle diameter is 20 and outer circle radius is 18 so going for the circle here picking this point whenever the two lines are highlighted at that moment you can click the point to catch the circle center with the diameter is given as 20 means radius is 10 then again taking another circle picking the same circle center point giving the radius outer one as 18 here now what are the extra portion we have i'll try to trim out that take the quick trim command from the operations toolbar this extra portion i am trimming and this extra portion also trimming then select the element this element from the keyboard to delete it now we need to draw this line 
that is from this line to this line the distance is given as 18 that is 18 radius now I am taking the half set command selecting this reference line moving my cursor towards the left side by pressing tab button giving the value as 18 enter now whatever the extra portion I have I will trim that by taking the quick trim this portion I doesn't require and this portion also I doesn't require and I am deleting selecting that and deleting this now slowly here the coincidence has missed here you can check it the distance uh, between this point to this point is 0 I am selecting those two points and saying right click going for the coincidence and I am making this line and this line as a parallel lines by pressing control selecting these two lines then click on the constraint defined in a dialog box and applying the parallelism now my sketch is in a fully constrained mode by pressing control we can mirror it but here the arc is left first we need to place the fillet with radius of 14 so I am taking the fillet command and with trim first element and picking this element as the first element this element as the second element fillet radius is given as 14 now press control select these all elements go for the mirror command taking the vertical axis as a reference and here I need to make a corner between this arc to this arc with a radius of 17 I am taking the command corner then selecting this element and this element with the radius as 17 enter now press control select all these here uh, doing small changes making undo here now pressing control properly selecting the elements selecting this element this element this line and the arc now click on the mirror command and use the horizontal axis as a reference axis here I got some extra element selecting and deleting that but here we lost that fully constraint one thing I do making undo here now the mask sketch is in a fully constrained mode and uh, we need to pick these two circles also go for the mirror and take the horizontal axis as a reference in this way we need to complete this diagram let us stop the session here